सर प्लानिंग इज द वाइटल इंस्ट्रूमेंट वी हैव एडोप्टेड टू रियलाइज द सोशल ऑब्जेक्टिव एनसेंट इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन थ्रू द फाइव इयर प्लान वी हैव ऑलरेडी अचीव्ड ए सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन द नेशनल इनकम इन द पास्ट एटीन इयर्स एंड लेड द फाउंडेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांस द प्लान इज फास्ट मॉडर्नाइजिंग और एग्रीकल्चर एंड स्ट्रेंदनिंग एंड डाइवर्सिफाइंग आवर इंडस्ट्री अब ऑल इट हैज री इनफोर्स्ड नेशनल यूनिटी एंड पार्पज द अटैक ऑन आवर टेरिटरी इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू एंड एगेन इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव फोर्स्ड आस टू मॉडिफाई द पैटर्न ऑफ नेशनल एक्सपेंडिचर before we could reconcile the competing claims of development and defense brought struck us foreign credits became uncertain recession followed all these seriously restricted our freedom of choice we had to divert our energies to fight Drought and near famine, and their after math. For some time, long-term planning had to be virtually suspended, but we succeeded in turning adversity to good use. We concentrated on import substitution, which further enlarged. our industrial base this along with the need for more foreign exchange but us on the path of a more fruitful export drive we maintain our investment in development work especially in intensive agricultural programs a new period has now opened there is a welcome upsurge in the economy and the increases in agricultural production have brought us nearer to self sufficiency in food grains but inevitably there are other problems and a fresh challenge to face rural disparities have increased partly owing to the very efforts we have made to move rapidly towards self sufficiency in food and partly owing to a certain slowness in the matter of implementing the land reforms although the industrial recession has been curbed new industries are not coming up fast enough and unemployment especially of technically trained persons continues to be acute we have a larger and understandably enough and more distinct population planning is the method to which we are committed for meeting such challenges we have carried out three five year plans each five year plan has addressed itself specially to problems which have emerged either because of new political and economic developments in the country and in the world or as a cons- consequence of progress we have already achieved the priorities and the emphasis have necessarily changed and have had to be adjusted from plan to plan but we have always kept in view our long term objectives and their achievements the seventh plan 
represents of consciences internally consistent and carefully thought out program for the most efficient exploitation for our resources possible in existing conditions. The basic aim is to raise the standard of living of the people, especially of the less privileged sections of society. Our planning should result not only in an integrated process of increased production, but rational distribution of the added wealth. The overriding inspiration must be a burning sense of social justice, while increased production is of the utmost importance. It is equally important to remove or reduce and prevent the concentration of wealth and economic power. The benefits of development should accrue in increasing measure to the common man and the weaker sections of society so that the forces of production can be fully unleashed. A sense of involvement or participation by the people as a whole is vital for the success of any plan of rapid economic growth. This can only be evoked by securing social justice by reducing disparities of income and wealth and by re redressing regional imbalances. Our orientation of our socio-economic institutions in this spirit is accordingly the first necessity. One year of this plan has already gone by between the draft plan and the present documents certain important changes have been made. The projected investment in the public sector has been stepped up so as to enable us to undertake a larger and bolder agenda of work. New schemes have been added to help the small farmer throughout the country, especially in the unirrigated area. The emphasis is squarely on areas that have hitherto suffered from neglect of transport and housing problems in urban regions will receive more attention. A small but significant beginning is also being made with special programs for children. The seventh plan thus provided a necessary corrective to the earlier trend which helped particularly the stronger sections in agricultural as well as in economic to enable them rapidly to enlarge and diversity the production base in the long run. The full potential of growth cannot be realized unless the energies of all our people are put to profitable use. The emphasis on spreading the impetus and benefits of economic growth to the weaker sections of thus necessary. In the interest of equality as well as growth, the plan will now assist the less prosperous sections of our farming population to improve their position.